Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another array operator that is nothing but Elim match. So how we can use use this Elim match query? Let's try to see. So this Elim match operator matches the documents that contain an array field. Normally, it, it will uh, we will be using only for the array field with at least one element that matches all the specified query criteria. So I will try to show you the behavior example. So instead of doing that, instead of explaining that one, so if I try to show you practically, then you'll understand. Let's say that I am having a marks one. Okay. So I'll insert the document, uh, sorry, collection marks collection. And inside this one, I am inserting something like results. Okay. So this one will, he, results will be some, um, like, let's say 82, comma, 85, comma, and 88. Let's keep it. Now I will be inserting another one. Let's say zoom 75. Okay. 88 and 89. 88 and 89. So now I am pressing enter. Okay. Now I want to get the score results. So I want to get the results data which is having greater than or equal to 80 and less than 85. So let's try to see it. So what I can do here db dot marks dot find. I can use an end operator. Okay. I will try to show you end operator. So here I want to have results. Okay. So results. So I want to have a sorry, this should be an array, right? End should be an array. And here results should be uh, greater than or equal to um, 80. And another one, the same thing results results should be less than or equal to less than 88 or something like 85 let's assume so now if i try to press enter open here okay we are getting an error because of this one and this one. it should be separate separate document also we are getting error so why i have used this one so it is there and oh it should not be an array here okay so results this is one object okay and this is an another object and we are having so here okay 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 so this is the problem we are having so this should be an or document right now let's press enter so here we are able to see that we need to get a document uh, we need to get the documents in such a way that the results data should be greater than or equal to 80 and between the 80 and 85 it should be there so here if you try to see 82 85 88 fine so these are all, all are between 82 and 85 but here if you try to see these are all the things so greater than or equal to 80 and 85 so these are not matching why because all there, there is a uh, result which is having less than less than 80 so it is instead it is not in between the 80 and 85 whereas 88 and 89 are are okay so why it is happening here is for example if you try to see we are trying to apply an end operator and for this one we are applying we are trying to say whether we are having any elements greater than 80 or not yes greater than 80 is there whether we have any elements less than 85 or not yes we are having less than 85 there is nothing but a 75 thing so the, like this it will try to match so both the conditions are matching then it will try to show it but here what we need to do is so we need to get an item in a such a way that <coughs> the all the items should be in a 80 to 85 so for this one what we will try to do is the same thing db dot marks dot find okay and i will try to do the same thing results and here we need to use elim match okay so elements elements that should match in a such a way that greater than or equal to 80 and we have another one dollar less than or equal to 85 so if you try to press enter now we are able to get only one item so previously we used to get two items which you are using end operator so that is nothing but it is trying to check that whether any element is there greater than 80 yes it is there and hey like this but here it is trying to match that these two conditions has to meet here 80 and 85 75 is not matching so that is the reason this is not coming but 80 to 85 we are able to get the items here so this is how the elim match will be useful when we are trying to apply in a single array I will try to show you another scenario also so that you will try to understand very easily. 
so this is how we'll be using this elim match elim match means it will try to exactly find the match in the array elements whereas the end operator try to check at least one item is there between the following means it will it will show you in the result let's say uh, let's try to take another example the same marks thing i will try to drop the marks okay i will try to take another scenario so let's try to guess so db dot marks dot find and let's say that we are having the same thing results okay sorry insert insert let's try to insert first let's in, try to insert the data insert one so i will be having a results thing same thing okay so now what i will try to do so in the results you will be having a subject let's say maths so i am having a subject maths and my score is around eight and i am having the same another subject in the results only so i will be having results in the same uh, subject in the sub in the results only so that means it will be an array okay area of object and here i will try to mark it as array and here i will be having another subject okay science let's take it as science and the score for me for this one is let's say six okay so let's press enter now i'll try to insert another one max i will now this time this one is in six and this one is something around h now let's try to see another one let's try to say i'm having a max of five and here i will be having four let's say here in this time i will be having max of four and here i will be having around eight or something like this okay so that's it so we are having some marks data and let's try to see db dot marks dot find dot pretty i will try to show you the marks data which i am having so here we are having some results so which is having area of object so each sub we are having a subject and the score subject and the score so each one is having subject max score rate subject max score rate like this now what i want to do is i want to find the max subject so i want to find the documents which is having a subject of max and exact score of eight okay let's try to see it so what i can do here so let's try to see the traditional thing what we can do so marks dot find and i can use something like so it's the same thing you can use dollar end operator okay or otherwise you can use something like results results dot subject okay results dot subject it should be maths and also you can say results dot score also should be eight let's try to press enter now we let's try to check the pretty thing okay if you try to see the pretty thing so what is the thing i am trying to say i want to have a subject max which is having a score of eight now if you try to see here subject max score of eight yes correct and here if you try to see we are getting a subject max score of six which should not be intended like that and here we are able to see subject max score of four so these th these are the three so only the first document is matching but other two documents are not the intended one so expected result why because i want to have a subject max whose score is eight so what is happening here is when you are trying to see the results for an object thing so it will try to check that whether the max is there or not yes and also the score is there or not so it will not check only for the max it will check for the science also the score is eight is there okay fine so for this one whether the subject max is there or not yes and also the score eight is there or not yes it is there for science but not for max so that means this result is also came now here it will try to check whether the max is there or not yes and also the score is also eight is there but it is not for the max so this is how the normal end operator the end operator is also the one and the same only it will do the same thing only so this is how we are getting but this is not the expected behavior but what we should get we should get in a such a way that it should have exactly the max and also the score of eight let's try to see how we can get this so this type of scenario for embedded arrays things so we can get we can use the le match to get the results so let's try to show you so db dot marks dot find so for which one i want to apply i want to apply for the results and i need to do le match for this one le match and in this le match i need to do subject which is having maths and also the score which is having eight now let's try to press enter so whether it will work or not yeah so if i try to press enter dot pretty so we are able to get only one element that is having subject maths and score eight let's try to see that which is having subject score if you, you can also apply something like dollar 
greater than greater than eight okay greater than or equal to eight so subject max which is having score greater than or equal to eight if i try to press enter i'm able to get subject greater than or equal to eight right fine and uh, here i'm having okay only one is there so let's try to say with the six we'll try to see greater than or equal to six so if you try to press enter okay this is okay and this one is also okay so these are the two things which, which is having greater than or equal to six so this is how the le match so if you want to match the embedded documents in an array with the both the things means we can use this element match okay this is what about the le match query and also before closing this le match i want to tell you about the le match thing condition the single query condition so that means if you are specifying a single query like the uh, how we have used right in the element match expression and you are not using any dollar not or dollar any operators instead of element match means element match can be omitted for example let's say that you will be having db dot marks dot fine okay so here i can say that which is having uh, results element match so i am using only the element match okay so here i can say the subject which is of max okay so which is having of type max so here i am not using any any operator not operator anything just i am using the single query only so this is subject max only now if i try to press enter so i am able to get all the details so any match which is having a subject of max okay so this is somewhat equal to what i can say is db dot marks dot find so here sorry db dot marks dot find and i can say such that results dot <clears throat> subject results dot subject is equal to max i can say something like this so this is also one this is also one and the same only okay results dot what is happening here results results dot subject okay and here i can say max so here i can close it this one so now here i can do it yeah so I, this is this is one and the same only any match can be omitted here but when you apply a not or any operator for example let's say that so i want to have db dot marks dot find okay find i want to have something like results so same thing results dot subject <clears throat> i want to get those which are not equal to okay which are not having not equal to maths so now i applied any operator now if you try to see i will not get any results why because so subject is having at least one of the thing right in the results setting so subject is having one of the thing but now when you try to use the elim operator here so you will be able to get db dot marks dot find out so here you can use <coughs> results and here i can use elim match elim match and here i can say subject so in this one i can use dollar ne maths so now if i try to see dot pretty you will be able to get the so many all the details why because so here we are having one subject max where we are trying to say that which is not equal to max so here we are having one result which is not equal to max now we are able to get the data and also here we are able to get subject which is not having here so that is the reason i am able to get this data and also here i am able to get this data so like this we are able to get this data so now getting this one and this one is entirely different okay so this is how we are, the le match property le match operator will work so hope you understood about this le match so le match will be used if you want to do the multiple query condition so that if you want to have a subject of max with a score of 8 or greater than 8 means for this type of scenarios we will be using this le match hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you